What's up guys? Welcome back to Spirit Change. Today we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales on 4K and 3D Blu-ray. I'm not going to go over the plot details, but I found it surprisingly good. But first, let's unbox the steelbook. Now for some quick tech specs. The film was shot in 3.4K. It has a 2K DI. Runtime is 129 minutes. It's rated PG-13. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So those watching on TVs, you're gonna get the black bars on the top and on the bottom. So being a Disney release and having a 2K DI, I was expecting the same kind of transfer we got on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And to me, that was just an okay transfer. But this release is in another tier. There's a marked increase in details here. Take a look at Salazar's ship in chapter eight. You can clearly make out the fine details on the ship's surface with all the dirt and grime, and I'm assuming barnacles and seaweed. It was all pretty clear, and this detail is in low light. So HDR is doing an amazing job for shadow details. Close-up shots, like the CG ones on Salazar's face, were rendered realistically, and facial features like pores, freckles, and strands of hair on Karina were amazingly sharp, and was a definite improvement over the regular Blu-ray. HDR usage is almost like another character in this movie. Right at the beginning of chapter one, there's a burning flame in a lighthouse that was extremely bright and vivid, it blinded almost everyone in the theater. Chapter 3 had some really good subtle highlights from the light shining through the ship's windows to some specular highlights as the light reflected off of faces. And the burning embers that can be seen floating around Captain Salazar were bright and pretty vivid. Chapter 11 had some excellent contrasty scenes with the sparkling gold treasure against the dark backdrop of Barbosa's ship. Black levels were deep and dark but still retained great discernible elements in the low light. Colors were bolder and skin tones are much more natural looking. And any shot while they're on the water always displayed extremely brilliant highlights as the sunlight would reflect off the water to reflections off of the ship and the crew members. Now if you're lucky enough to have the 3D disc imported, you're in for a real treat. This movie wasn't shot in native 3D, but was a conversion. And it's probably one of the best conversions I've seen. There were many times I thought it was better than the Transformers The Last Night Blu-ray I just reviewed and that was actually shot in 3D. You can take almost any shot of Captain Salazar and see all the debris circling around his face right in front of you. There's a shot of him in chapter 16 as he floats in the water. It looks like he's sinking towards the camera and you can see his burning ship far off in the background. It was pretty impressive with all the layered elements in this scene. There was also a few scenes of telescopes popping out of the screen that look pretty cool. There's always great separation between foreground, middle ground, and background layers. And for a 3D movie, black levels were very detailed and didn't get muddy like poor 3D transfers tend to get. Resolution obviously won't be as sharp and crisp as 4K, but it never left me thinking I'd rather be watching it in 4K instead. No, no, I'm a horologist. And so was my mum, but she didn't crow about it as loud as you. And as it tends to be the trend with 3D releases lately, this one only gets a DTS 7.1 audio mix. The DTS track was very dynamic and I actually thought the bass was a bit more robust than the Atmos 4K mix. But the bubble of sound from the 4K disc is gonna be the winner here. The Atmos track is very wide as it extends far beyond your speakers and the heights were always filled with some kind of ambient sounds. The mix is active right from the beginning intro as you can hear thunder sounds coming from above your head and all around your room. Chapter three had some detailed subtle sounds from the burning embers floating around Salazar's head it almost seemed like it was kind of floating right around in front of your face. Also in the beginning of the chapter, the cannonball shots had some hard-hitting mid-range and pretty low rumble. Chapter 26 
had a cool effect as you can hear the clanking of the chain above your head to the left side of the room all while the ship is sailing off in the distance. The musical score was layered and filled the entire soundstage. Bass response is present and had great impact although I thought the DTS mix was a bit fuller on the low end. Dialogue was always intelligible, so no issues there. So for audio, I'd have to give the Atmos mix an 8.7. It was always immersive and always followed what was happening on screen. For 4K picture quality, I'd have to go 8.5. It had excellent HDR and a nice jump in the detail department over the regular Blu-ray. For 3D, I'm gonna go 9. I liked it so much I watched it from start to finish a second time around instead of just comparing chapters. And for me, the 3D just barely edges out the 4K version. There were just too many times you can tell they were setting up a 3D shot, and those shots always seem to pay off. Now if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment down below, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.